What's up fellow lords of gaming and welcome back to the channel. Let's jump into some Silver Surfer action inside Marvel Future Fight and let's talk about whether or not you should buy or skip this costume. Number one, straight off the rip, buy. If you have the funds, it's a very expensive costume. I think it was like 1500, 1750 crystals. Um, if you have this and you're interested in PvP, you're going to need this Silver Surfer costume. That's just the, the way it is. It, it's just truth. Um, he is going to be meta defining pretty much inside of the game. Now, whether or not he has usability inside PvE and PvP is questionable. The previous Silver Surfer was like kind of like inside of the PvE, but he's really a PvP type character. And that's going to generate more interest about whether or how you're going to build him with regard to your custom gears. I switched out my CTP of con what conquest that I had, my mighty, and I put that on him because it's it's going to probably be really good fit for him. You could also use some other CTPs, uh, specifically CTP of authority, because I think that one also, do I have a CTP of authority? Um, the CTP of, no, no, yeah, CTP of authority, because this one, you could also go with like the mighty or the brilliant version and its options will also help damage reduction and stuff like that for surfer. Um, if you're going to play him in, you know, pve and try to get that i think a ctp of rage is probably going to be more beneficial than anything um just based on the fact that like i think his six animation probably plays out a little wonky and weird um could you go with like the ctp of refinement or something like that mm, i wouldn't go with this like it, you know like you could go with the ctp like I, I wouldn't do it like the egg uh, yeah i wouldn't do it it's just not my my jam i would probably say like if you're going to be playing and you're trying to get in a high high tier pvp that you want a mighty ctp of authority uh or a mighty brilliant ctp of authority or a mighty ctp brilliant or whatever of conquest to basically snap on a character you could also put regeneration on the character so that way you know you help put him up i think that was a popular option back in the day but i don't know that you know like ctp of regeneration is kind of falling out of a little bit of luck there so mighty ctp of conquest is what i'm going with specifically because you can see damage de dam has the wall ability decreases damage received by 70 percent reduce damage decrease by three percent with each hit taken with a minimum damage decrease of 50 percent so i kind of like that uh you know this is when he's below 50 percent he also gets the recovery effect on there and the 15 percent increase of his max hp along with the increase for his all basic attack and defenses so now let's take a look at details inside of here you can see that even with his kit the way it is currently i didn't have to do very much to exceed stats on surfer as a veteran player with a good uh card you know comic cards and everything else like that gear i do have some ctp uh some odin's blessings on him i think what seven se yeah seven or so on here i might just equip him with more i haven't gone through the full amplification i want to wait until i get him to tier four for that uh all skills maxed out currently um, his type is also not maxed out, just rank four. I mean, I am going to max that out at eight and then a power of angry Hulk set up on him. No artifact. Good thing is that his artifact that is there isn't necessarily needed. Um, like you could get away without having silver surfers artifact, which is really good because it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it doesn't define his kits. It, it's going to be helpful. Obviously like the additional 20% increase there is going to be helpful in terms of damage output overall but it, it doesn't make or break the kit so that's what i'm trying to say like that is the good thing about uh, the release of a lot of these artifacts inside the annihilators update because i'm not a fan of the what you call it. and then the uniform surfer is going to be an expensive uniform let's just be perfectly honest for any new player who's looking to get surfer in the game he's going to be expensive and i'm going to show you why so thor thor love and thunder good uniform there still thor's best uniform captain america back to basics his best uniform uh electro no way home this is where it starts right so electro no way home it's a good uniform it's electro's best uniform however the problem is is when you look at upgrading the uniform this is going to cost you 30 biometric the 30 biometric daily subscription or a way for you to ba basically max that out if you want the full stats and bonuses of that of that uh uniform option and it just continues from there because when we get into uh, the next one, it's going to be Riri Williams. A good uniform for Riri Williams definitely makes a really good support character in the game. But 
we get into the problem again where it's going to cost you 30 biometrics daily in order to basically level her up so you're looking between just those two uniforms and the uniform purchases to basically get them to their mythic form you're probably looking at maybe 20 30 bucks basically to get those uniforms maxed out unless you purchase you know a mega uniform upgrade ticket so uh, uh, along with the 1500 1750 crystals for silver surfer you're also doing this you know you might wonder why i purchased riri williams's uniform it's the base is because it, it without leveling her up but it i didn't need her to be leveled up i just needed the effects of her uh uniform and i needed the effects of her you know skills and passives basically to play as a support type uh support character so next up let's take a look continue along so but between these alone you're probably looking at about 20 30 dollars on to the additional 15 1750 dollars that you dare and then we get Adam's Adam Warlock's Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy. Now he is without a doubt, you know, PvP uh, meta inside the game. You you always see him in the pool and other world battle, even timeline battle. And uh, there's a reason for that. And but this uniform is very expensive. So you also he's a native tier two. So you're gonna have that native tier two uniform expensive cost. And then you're also talking about having his uniform maxed out as well. So all of that that goes into that, which makes Silver Surf for if you need these uh those uniform options really really expensive inside here as a free-to-play player so understand that when you go into silver surfer just for his uniform options it's going to be very expensive as, as a new player now here goes the thing for most veteran players as you play the game you'll start to notice that these uniform options have less and less of an impact on the game because you're getting stats from other places that is going to allow you to cap out and hit maxes on these characters without having to necessarily level those uniform options like i'm showing you over here for me even though I have some of those characters at normals, would I like the HPs because they're going to help out the HP rates? Yes. So those those matter to me because there's no max for those. But <clears throat> for some of the other stats like attack speed, crit rate, crit damage and dodge and my ignore defense and reduce cool duration, not a matter to me because of my gear, my ESOs, my cards, my swords, my team of collections, my shield archives and my agent doesn't really make a difference to me inside there. I'm still only at 47.61. So I probably got another three days with Silver Surfer before I'm actually able to get him to tier four. But I am going to immediately take him to tier four inside of that update. Um, so these overall basically with the looks of the surfer, I know there are people complaining. They're like, hey, the surfboard probably should have looked like the wings. I don't disagree with you, to be perfectly honest. I think that if they had gone with the surfboard kind of looking like the wings, that would have looked really, really cool. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. I think what they've done with the character in terms of his uh, crown, head crown, it looks absolutely amazing in the eyes. The, the two-tone color effect of the black uh, and the silver, you know, kind of popping through kind of looks really, really cool. The metallicness of it. It's a really, really cool uniform. And you can tell they've done quite a bit. Now, Surfer's uh, optimization on his skills, absolutely phenomenal. The uniform effect, um, let's go back inside here. I don't know why. The uniform effect on this is absolutely cool too. I have no doubt that Surfer's uniform effect, this increase all basic attacks by 30%, his super armor increase all basic uh, defenses by 40%. It's nice, nice, nice benefit and bonus to the character overall. Let's take a look at some of his skills inside of here. So overall, I think the kit that he has, his passive, uh, the reflects 30% of all damage received. This is what you're basically looking at, the, you know, being the most impact, impactful. Notice that he's also decreases the basic damage received by 40% already inside there. So you pair him up with a CTP of Conquest to de decrease even more. It's a really good look. So then we get to his second passive, Cosmic Resurgence. Instead of the 60% that he had previously, you're now reviving for 80% of his max HP. Another big benefit over here. So that way he's coming back stronger instead of coming back in a little bit of depleted state. And then we get Spatial Leader Cleanse, which isn't a bad passive. Like it, this is not a bad passive, excuse me, leadership basically for, for, for Surfer to be to be in the lead. So you have him removing all debuffs when debuffed, right? And it applies to all allies. And then he increases all basic attacks by 30 by 30 percent. I really hate that they do this. Why do you just can't just make basic attack? I know they have characters that do basic attack and defense. Just, just do basic attack, basic defense. So that way it's just 
30%, and then all speed by uh, 1% insider. So it's a nice little pseudo frenzy buff because you know it's not like a crit rate is sitting inside there or crit damage or anything, but nice frenzy buff on the skill. Now, do I feel like this is more beneficial for you to use inside of PVE? No, I think in PVE, you're gonna have to pair him with another leadership because you don't really care about the debuff so much inside PVE not in my opinion if you're able to understand the boss battles and things like that there's not a real point where you need to cleanse debuffs off your character uh too much inside pvp and pve this is really a pvp type leadership and to be perfectly honest i still don't find it beneficial in pvp so i'll explain that to you in a second right so some of the possible pairings and team ups that i've seen like i don't necessarily agree but i'm not a pvp player so i'm not going to really say yay nay to these because i don't really jump into pvp but for instance venom um agent venom is going to be a real big benefit to silver surfer in terms of boosting him up right so you basically agent venom and in his uniform effect has decreased chain hit damage by 35% and increased chain hit damage by 20% uh, when attacking. So this is gonna apply to all symbiote allies. So since a Silver Surfer has both the symbiote and Annihilator's tag, this benefits him. And this is gonna look really, really spicy to some people to basically put him in there, especially like if you are gonna play him inside PVE, I think this is a beneficial support to put to Silver Surfer. Um, I still think Ronin and PVE is probably the better of the two, of the um, of the leadership traits inside of the in in the game um, to to basically pair him up with. In PVP, the problem that I have with PVP is PVP has completely changed over the past couple of years, where we used to set up you know around a character. So let's go to timeline battle real quickly. So if you were going inside timeline battle, the nature of PVP has changed, right? So like if I was to go inside here and I was to like look at what's going on in Vibranium, you'll notice that most of the teams in here, they don't really stand. It's like not a real place where you can put like a surfer and he's your main dps and then you put a support type character most of the players are building around like i've got to have like multiple tier fours in there so i'm putting like you know the the normal run even in challenger league and stuff like that is going to be um prior you know uh wolverine and then you're going to probably have like adam warlock or gene gray inside of there depending on the flesh of the week i don't really see that as like changing in any way shape or form um so like to say that i'll put like surfer and then body bag him with like a co colossus or and then put a support type character like strife that's just not happening anymore like it, it really isn't happening anymore like that so it's really like to me it doesn't feel right to basically be like hey yeah this is this is where we're going with this because it just doesn't happen that way it, it really doesn't anymore like you can see even the teams inside challenger right it's not happening that way like there are multiple tier four type characters that don't really lend necessarily support between the three i'm just trying to have a body that's in the in the mix there that can basically like you know if one character goes down the next character could probably support it's a strength of character basically like through attrition inside of pvp so to like it's disingenuous in my opinion to basically be like well i'm gonna put surfer as my main and i'm gonna have some type of support for him so that way like hey you know uh uh god damn it uh what's his name colossus is gonna provide this for him and this is gonna that doesn't really work anymore the support type characters for roles inside of there doesn't even work even when you look at other world battle um and i haven't even been participating in now nah, we just cancel out of it i haven't really been participating in other world battle right so even when you look at other world battle you're going to see teams inside of here where it's basically like bodies through attrition i'm just putting in the top tier t4s that i could put in here like hey you know this week because there's so many villains inside the mix it's worth it for me to put ghost rider in there because he might take two one or two bodies with him um you know hella is still got the revive support inside her so she's going to be really good surfer and madeline and gene gray and so forth like that depending on the debuff list is going to be where it at so it's really hard to suggest that you're going to be doing anything different with those characters in here so I, I just don't see it right so that's just me now what you're more than likely going to be interested in too for most players i think still like marvel future fight is not a pvp game i know they're doing more to kind of bolster the pvp in here and i'm not mad at them for it because it does bring in 
more eyes when you have pvp people tend to like pvp it's just what it is that that's the truth of the matter so let's take a look at surfer skills uh in action because i think that's where he uh really it, it really shows on a uniform that they've put in a lot of thought with the character it's weird because some of the skills haven't necessarily changed from where he was at previously in his black rider uniform they just changed in terms of the, like villainousness uh in terms of what they say so let's take a look at his one skill one skill alone like to me that would have been a two or three skill basically on any other character but you know with surf over here really nice movement speed with the symbiote trail behind him two skill i wish that this skill had a little bit more oomph impact like what i mean by that is let me turn this combat setting off is that when you activate the two skill he basically turns the little like symbiote ball and then he like hammers it down but there's like absolutely no impact <laughs> And I mean, there's like no impact in the sound when he basically does that. So like I have the sound effects and stuff like that going, but there's just no impact in this audio right here when he slams down. Like this is one of the parts where I feel like Marvel Future Fight does miss out on is that you hear like a lot of his ch -ch -ch bang, bat, pow kind of sounds going in the background, but there's no audio to like some of like the movements. There's no audio. So like, you know. I want to hear surfer surfboard moving you know there's no impact sound to when he slams that ball down at all and you just hear it pew, pew, pew. um so it's like yeah i wish there was some audio to that sound his third skill there's not a lot happening on this one um until you put on the ai so that way he can actually do the counter attack and then he gets three skill hits right like look at that that is cool so like this is really 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 cool if you can get used to timing that appropriately inside some uh and boss battles and stuff like that i'm imagining you're gonna be able to do some really good damage on that one so it's a really nice uh counter attack on there with a lot of uh, flexibility his fourth skill looks absolutely amazing to me he basically summons a black hole uh which draws in all the enemies and then he uses his surfboard as a blade which is probably the reason why we got like instead of having these wings we get the surfboard look right there but it's absolutely amazing looking cool looking skill so then his fifth skill reminds me a lot of venom and venom's dino skill where essentially he's summoning summoning a lot of symbiotes out of the ground and they're basically attacking you now overall i don't think the skill looks bad at all it's just like i don't get a lot of time to see some of these symbiotes hopping out like that's what my, my chief complaint is nothing really changes on his six skill it's still the six skill that I remember remember that you have to wait till that ball goes into the sky in order to cancel it just is what it is and then he has t4 skill in here which is basically is a, a attack boost inside of the game i'm not and i like the effect of the t4 that it puts on him it's very short-lived though unfortunately so let's take a look at his practice combos in here still surfers playing out the pretty much the same exact way that he was playing out before so we've got a three a four and then a five cancel simple remember the three is his bread and butter so like <clears throat> if i can turn on the ai i don't think the ai will work here okay well okay cool 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 so we can go three four and then five into the skill right there so like like i said you get good at timing that you get some extra damage i think off of those hits and then we've got his uh other skill which is the six three four five now this is a little bit weird because i don't remember going six three four five um for his other skill but we're going six it's got excuse me i messed that up we've got the delay inside of there remember because the six it goes up in the sky you wait for it to basically hit and explode and then you go three four and then five that's the rotation that they have but if i remember correctly we were just going three four five six three three four five six before it's been a while since i've played surfer um inside of pve so i have to see what that is right but i pref i think the pre the preferential is going to be the the three the four the five and then hit the six at the end so that way you can just let that skill play out and do its thing I, you know give or take whatever you can also play with the rotation in here to basically open up the skill and basically go with like hey <laughs> that's a lot of hits see what i'm saying so i could basically go with this in here where i'm gonna go one two 
three, four, and then the five skill inside of here, and then into six. Or maybe two, one. Yeah, two, one. So that way I can open it up. Yeah, so two, one, I think is probably the better rotation inside of there for all of it. But either way, it's some meaty damage against the character inside of there. And then basically when his uh, witch call is open, you know, you get the increase of attack inside of here. So let's take a look at what the seconds is on that one. I know it's going to fail. Ah, uh, you don't want to show me what the what the skill is. But so they've got seven, six, three, five, four. I think it's going to probably be a little bit different inside of that rotation with the tier four. I haven't quite figured out the tier four. But if you look at his skill for his tier four, um, you notice that it's just basically an increase all basic attack for seven seconds. And then he has a recovery of 10% HP for seven seconds on that one. So I think like if you still go like seven, seven, two, one, three, four, five, like you're probably just as good inside of there. Like it just is what it is. But so overall, that's his rotation. Now let's take a look at him real quick inside some world boss content. Um, where are we at? Where are we at with world boss content? I think I completed all this, so we can definitely go and train. I don't want to show Mephisto necessarily because Mephisto is definitely going to be an easy, easier boss basically to do. But let's do let's do Gore on stage two with Surfer. So this is going to be the team that I'm going to run for the time being. I need to level up um, Agent of Venom um, to tier three, but I'll probably. I don't want to really. What I really want is Phylavels for the thematic of the Annihilators. Um, but what I'll probably do is at some point when I get Agent Venom up, I'll use him as a go between between um, him and Mon uh, I want to call it Clem Clementif, whatever the fuck the name <laughs> chick is, uh, Mantis inside of here. But I'll switch that out at some point to, to Agent Venom. And then at some point when they finally get around to Phylavel, I'll replace them. So that way I have a more thematic. I still think that um, Ronan is probably the better leadership overall for the character um, in general. We're just going to leave this over here like it is. I was really hoping that Ronan's ally support skill that he was going to come in with was going to be his third skill. But nevertheless it's not there um still the fourth skill not bad skill for him to basically jo join the team in with so let's take a look at surfer so we're gonna switch out to surfer over here boom three four five not the damage i was hoping for to be honest with you move surfer move hit that six not the damage I was hoping for. Which is the problem, right? Because he's recovering quite a bit, but I was hoping to see more damage basically happening here. Where's my man Noel at? Oh, he canceled that shit. It was like, no, bro. Definitely can't. He hits hard. You can tell that. But it's like it's not enough to necessarily like say like, hey, this is going to be where it needs to be. Oh, shit. Encroaching shadows. Like it's good damage. You can't complain about it. I mean, it's not the damage that I want to see. And I do have, like I said, I do have a um, CTP of Conquest on him. So it's not like I have a CTP of Rage set up for him on this one. I probably should have saved that. He's meaty and tanky. tanky surfer oh shit wasn't expecting that that wasn't even a purple though so you can see what i mean you're gonna pro if you're gonna want to play him in pve 
you're probably gonna want to have to like run something with the character where he's basically gonna benefit from where he's gonna benefit from the the the, the, the like the CTP like of a uh, excuse me of rage overall inside there it CTP of rage is still king that's just the, the, the matter of fact truth and you want that that proc basically from those skills I love his tankiness though so but I think you're gonna lose out a lot on like hey I don't have silver surfer like I don't know how this character is gonna necessarily perform survival in terms of we're just gonna stop it there um how he's gonna perform survival inside of like pvp basically um excuse me oops how he's gonna basically provide survival in pvp if you don't have something like a ctp of authority or a ctp of um uh, uh conquest or something like that on him or ctp of regeneration he might not perform as well. So you basically are giving up something for something. And he's probably not going to be the top tier universal character basically to compete against. So when we look at Silver Surfer here, let's take a look at this. His, no, not that, his elements. So we're basically looking at universal super villains in the male genre. And this is basically who we have. So you're looking for him to perform better than, uh, I think he's probably going to perform better than 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 some of these but you're looking for him to perform better than uh loki uh black bolt <laughs> i thought the list was going to be a lot longer than this he's going to perform better than probably 90 percent of this player of this universal male villain player base inside of here i don't know that he's going to play better than like you know these two necessarily and maybe not even him but we do have the potentiality for you know updates for one two three four characters that i see could be more powerful in terms of than what they would come back to represent um i don't see them coming back around to these characters for some time model commune was just trash man he still pisses me off but this is the comparative list that you're basically looking at him comparing to when he gets to tier four and i can see why they basically introduced him as a main pvp player because you have three pve uh characters basically in here but that brings me to a point of i'd probably still use like in timeline battle if i was gonna try to mainline surfer as who i wanted to be my main dps i would probably still body up with you know thanos as the lead and then surfer as the um as the the, the default inside of here in terms of like his second dps type character and then maybe put something like colossus inside of there if that's what you're going to main because then at least i get the big beefy body of thanos to basically do what he's going to do and then surfer can basically pair up on that one and then maybe you just throw in like wolverine or you know gene gray or adam warlock or somebody uh, to that likes or if you even feel it like colossus in there i just don't see the benefit of that but i would probably throw in thanos as a lead surfer as the secondary and then something like that to basically play into so it'd be a little bit more beneficial in terms of looking like this and i can benefit from thanos's leadership inside of here which basically has to all super villain allies he provides that debuff and he provides that uh that that frenzy buff as well i don't believe he provides anything else though yeah because the rest of just applies to himself but yeah let me know what you guys think though i'm really excited about silver surfer building around him so i'm going to show you guys some more um in the days to come i just need to hit that t4 um that second potential realization so that way i can build him out and then i'll provide you another video until next time guys hit that like and subscribe button peace